Dad Delivers Vlog, you are now a YouTube partner. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the Happy Huts, and oh my goodness, look at this. I've done it. I just hit 1,000 subscribers over, over here. Look, this is my other channel. It's my experimental YouTube channel, the Dad Delivers Vlog. You can see it, 1,000 subscribers. And actually, if we go into my dashboard, in YouTube Studio, you can see it's 1,001 subscribers. It's creeping up. What happens at 1,000 subscribers? I'm going to chart my journey. I'm going to share with you, take you inside my channel and show you exactly what YouTube does when you become monetized. It's Sunday morning here in the UK. It's the 22nd of May. And at 7.40 this morning, I, I went over the 1,000 subscriber mark. It's Sunday morning, so you can probably hear all my neighbors mowing, and, but I don't care. I just want to show you exactly what happens when you go through the threshold of requirements that you need to become monetized right here on YouTube. Now, I've done this before. On this channel that you're watching right now, I, I hit 1,000 subscribers in March 2020. And after I did that, I wanted to niche down, so I created some other YouTube channels to see what would happen and to move videos off of this channel so that this channel could become niche. It's taken about a year and a half for the Dad Delivers channel to creep over the 1,000 subs mark. But you probably want to see what happens next. How does YouTube uh, invite you to join the YouTube Partner Program? So the first thing we need to do is to go to the tab on the left-hand side, Monetization, and the Grow With YouTube page that's been sat there for about a year and a half <laughs> is now showing right now 1001 subscribers i've got 8000 watch hours so that's good you can probably hear my kids on the trampoline in the background i'd like to think that they're celebrating this with me but there's this big blue button down at the bottom apply now we've we've got to click it right so now these three steps look like this we now have all of these start buttons so the first step that's been released is review partner program terms. So I'm going to click start on there. I am going to tick this box and then click on accept terms. Done. Now step two is slightly confusing for me because it says sign up for Google AdSense. I don't need to do that because I'm with Google AdSense right now for this channel that you're watching right now. But it does say that you can use this step to connect an existing Google AdSense to account to my channel. And it says you will be directed to AdSense to complete this step. Do you have an existing AdSense account? I'm going to select yes, I have an existing account. Now it puts a warning here, which is that you are only allowed to have one Google AdSense per person uh, you can get kicked off the entire AdSense program by having two accounts and here's a tip from me if you are thinking of becoming monetized and you're trying to get the 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours watch time sign up to Google AdSense right now I would get all of that verification out of the way it can take up to about two weeks I do all of that now before you hit the 1,000 subscribers you're already linked to an existing Google publisher account continue with this account or so use a different account to connect to AdSense but I'm hoping that it will just work so I'll go accept association and it's opened up this window redirecting you to your host yay done and we scroll down to step three get reviewed in progress YouTube will review your channel to make sure it complies with the monetization policies we'll email you a decision usually within a month now I, <coughs> I, uh, oh okay brilliant so I've got to now take my daughter to a 10K walk and I'll let you know how long this takes. I guess we'll do a time jump. We have jumped forward in time, but not by much. My channel hit 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours on Sunday. It's now two days later over here, only two days. And this is what my YouTube studio dashboard is showing me. Dad Delivers Vlog, you are now a YouTube partner. Oh, sound effects, yes. <laughs> I didn't think I would make it, I really didn't. And if you are aiming to be monetized by YouTube, why not say hi in the comments below or hit me a thumbs up? Because I know how hard it is, what a grind, what a slog it is to get through like one or two subscribers every day, if that, to finally hit 1,000 subscribers. If this thing sitting here talking to you can get 1,000 subscribers, you definitely can. Let's see now what happens to the channel once you are in the YouTube
Country Partner Programme. There's a, a welcome video. There is getting paid up in the top right hand corner here. Great job, you've completed payment setup. Let's scroll down, monetization options. I've got video advertising and supers. That's where fans can throw you some tips. I have a more pressing thing to do and that is to monetize all my videos. <laughs> and I'm gonna do it in a particular way. If I go into analytics, oh, there's now an estimated revenue box. How exciting. I am going to monetize my videos in order of the most viewed. I want them clocking up cash as fast as possible. If I go into the see more, this is what we've done in the last two days and last one hour. So I'm gonna monetize these videos because I know they're bringing in cash. So let's go into my best rated video, how to change a streamer line. These are the analytics that I'm getting for my best rated video. And you can probably see that it scoops up at certain times because people get the streamers out and want to know how to work them. And now when I go to monetization on the left-hand side there, it's my first monetization question box. So if you've not done this, if you've not reached 1000 subs or 4000 hours watch time, you might be interested to see how to monetize a video. So you get this pull down menu here on off, let's go for on, and you have different types of ads, overlay ads, sponsored cards, skippable video ads, and non-skippable video ads. Everyone treats this differently. There's no right way. Some people don't like to put overlay ads, for instance, because they don't want the ad blocking that place on the bottom of the screen. Others don't want to put it on just because they don't want to spoil the, the viewing experience. I'm going to tick all of them because I put a lot of work into these videos and I want to maximize the amount of revenue from YouTube. I actually did an experiment. There's a link in the description below. I put 13 ad breaks into one video to see what would happen. And obviously I can't compare that with a like for like comparison. You don't know what the effect is, but overall the number of views didn't go down for me, I think. I think if anything, the watch time seemed to go up because people were committing to watching the video when an ad appeared. Let's go back to the list of my best performing videos and I'm gonna speed this up and show you what it's like monetizing probably about 60 videos. <laughs> Cue the fast forward. If you want to know how much I earn each month from YouTube, I've got a whole playlist dedicated to that. I keep it up to date. I let you know literally month by month sometimes how much money YouTube throws my way, having done this process twice now. And I'll let you know in that playlist how much this channel is earning. 